struck my Honda 3000 AK drummer, and we are, in fact, in for part two of this Street Fighter mess. Last time we were getting our ass whooped by Blanca. We are just picking up literally right where we left off on that one, so uh, we're not doing any better this time. <laughs> but y'all can see that. Uh, one of my favorite collectibles, though, I said I'm going to jump right into it. Um, <clears throat> is the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate coin that I got from, uh, oh, what is it, um, you know, Best Buy, that's it, the Best Buy pre-order, and, uh, I've got pre-order for LEGO Star Wars Complete Skywalker Saga or whatever, and, uh, ooh, Sheesh, that charge lasts way longer than I remember it. <laughs> um, which is weird, because we were just playing this game. But anyway. Mandela effect? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, that's not real. People are saying Mandela effects are going back to normal now. When is Carhartt going to subtract their extra T? All I have to say about that. <laughs> But I know some other people like, nope, Carhartt's always had two. And I'm like, nope, only had one. And I know other people like, no, it was DT, not TT. And then I'm like, what? But uh, anyway, what else we got? Collectibles. What did I say? Lego? Let's go over some Lego again. Lego in the last video. Uh, that's not who I'm about to pick. Fuck. Hardly matters. Uh, let's see. Oh, it matters. But we've got the uh, Ultimate Collection ships. I'd say just about everyone from maybe roughly 2012 to 2013 to, say, up to now, actually, minus the, uh, the Star Destroyer that came out at the end of, what was that, 2019? Um, and let's see, what else? We got Tower of Orthanc, <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, we've got the best, the prize though, here's the prize. I do have a Super Chief, now I don't have the limited edition locomotives, and sadly, when I got the damn thing, I was eight years old, so you can imagine my dumbass uh, threw some boxes away and, uh, you know. But it only took about, and I'm gonna say, you're gonna hear this price and go, ha ha, only took, right? That's a good one. It took about $300 to restore the whole thing. But because that thing is worth about fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars, it's worth it. Even if you factor in what, say, my father paid for it for that Christmas or whatever, it's about a six hundred dollar investment for still pretty damn good return, I'd say. <laughs> fifteen hundred to two grand. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, of course, it depends on the condition, but as I said, I restored most of it, or pretty much all of it. The only thing is I have some... I had a couple of those yellowed slope bricks, which, fucking course, I had that problem. Those slope bricks were fucking... Ugh, they don't make that gray anymore, so those are expensive. Um, but... Goddamn, I bought a... F good number of those, but one quite enough to replace all the yellowed ones. I tried to do the hydrogen peroxide trick, and they got a nasty sort of more whitish glare where the yellowing was than gray, and I was like, well, shit, it's not completely bleached out, but obviously I messed something up there. So, um, yeah, but you know what? <sighs> Let's go back to Millipede. I know, I know. I can't stay away from this game. <laughs> but, um... Eh, what does it matter? 
Uh, I'll try not to get so frustrated about it either. But let's see, Lego Super Chief is what I was talking about. Um, yeah, I'm starting on an easier level so I can actually talk to you folks. Um, what's the best Lego one we've got? Well. You could say it's the $800 Millennium Falcon, but, you know, that's a good one. I like my Super Chief a lot, obviously, but, um, let's see, what else can we do? sets um well my, my favorite one i think that isn't let's say a specific theme from like a movie franchise or something that's you know really well known like star wars uh i'd say it was their space their 90 space line um mission control with the rocket that you could put the batteries in and it had three different little buttons for different sound effects and that was a cool ass Lego set, and I actually have it restored, rebuilt, whatever. As you can imagine, I got that one when I was young, too. <laughs> I guess there's like a sticker or two missing, but it doesn't bother me on that set so much as it would say a Super Chief with those Santa Fe stickers. Oh boy, a sticker sheet for that one? Now, what I paid, I had to buy three of those fuckers, and I'm gonna tell you that's where most of the money is. On that super cheap three sticker sheets is about 150 <laughs> and that's in like 2016 2017 and then the engine sticker sheet was about 30 so I paid about 180 in stickers altogether <laughs> but uh it's pretty rare set I mean, it's it's not so much that you couldn't find it online, it's just you're going to pay a damn penny for it. A pretty one, you know what I mean? Like a super pretty one. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. But, let's see, what else? What else do we got here? Mission Control, we got all my train sets, really. I have a lot of good ones from the 90s. Especially, of course, good old Mr. Freeze Train, as Brixar would call it. And I know I keep mentioning other people's YouTubes in here, but hey, I'm new, and I mean, I gotta ask, is there is there like a Twitch rule about that? Am I not supposed to do that unless they ask me to? Uh, but, you know. I just know Twitch people get anal as fuck about shit like that sometimes, so. And I get why, I really do, you don't wanna, especially you don't wanna go like, hey, quit watching his channel, come watch mine, but, I don't know, I feel like YouTube is a little different, if I bring it up, it's like me saying go watch him, and that's different, even on Twitch, you know, the user can go, oh yeah, go watch my buddy, here's his link. And that's okay, so. Yeah, what I'm saying to you is maybe I'm freaking out for Jack's shit. <laughs> but anyway, back to Legos, other collectibles. Well, coins. I got some decent coins in my collection. Did I overpay for them? A few of them? Probably. But do I care? Nope. I have the damn things. Oh no, it's a rookie collector. Look, I know what you people probably say, and I'm just gonna say this. 
I maybe paid a premium for some of these bitches, but other times I did find an error coin out of a hunting from the bank. So there you go. Um, yeah. And that was quite an old error coin too. Fucking Canadian one from the 40s actually. Yeah, how'd I found a Canadian penny in an American roll? I don't know. But, uh, I wouldn't know what it's worth. <laughs> anyway, so, let's see, coins are fun, especially if you find some silver ones, that's always nice. Uh, play a little Tempest. me fucking up the zapper that time. Alright, let's try again. And that time I didn't press diddly dick, so I don't know why this thing still taps my zapper when I'm not tapping the button. But I can swear I fixed that issue, and I guess not. <laughs> I guess what I thought was the issue, what I thought I fixed is not the issue. Nice dodge. Okay. This U one's hard to get out of that corner sometimes. Ooh. Ah, move, Bucker. What's up with my joystick right now? It's not moving, right? Maybe turn the sensitivity up. Uh, still okay. Still okay. That was fun. Alright. I suppose we'll go back to Street Fighter. Oh. We'll be all right. Let's go, Fei Long. Oh shit, we're gonna die real quick, aren't we? <laughs> Damn, son. Oh, right. Yeah, we're doing OK. 
perfect. Uh, so, what do we do? What do we do? Um, play again? Okay, that's all we do. Describe more collectibles. God, I keep... Sorry, folks, you know what it is. I'm trying to play the game and talk at the same time. <laughs> oh, Lord. What? I can do both. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, Lord. Not really. <laughs> Funny psychological phenomenon. It's actually a truth that when you multitask, both tasks suffer. Like, performance wise, at least. I guess in the fucking public world, everybody. No, that's bullshit, but eh, go to school. <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Silver coins were fun. Yeah. Mercury dimes. Silver quarters. Barbers, even. If you find one. I'm pressing the wrong buttons, aren't I? Yep. I was punching and I needed to be kicking. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> uh, let's see. we got well collectible wise I'll say the prize besides Ocarina of Time is of course the Die Hawks Nintendo 64 um, at least Nintendo wise that's the prize of course Lego wise it's a different story coin wise it's a different story you know as I said jack of all trades collector movie wise different story but you could probably figure that was coming um, let's see. <laughs> God damn, son. I'm not really even trying. <laughs> I say that and I get a fucking throw on him. That's hilarious. That's absolutely hilarious. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see. Do we play again? Nah. I think I'm gonna call it quits for Street Fighter for now, but I uh, hope you heard enough about my collectibles. Let me know in the comments if you didn't. I'll talk about it more next video, whatever the hell that ends up being. But I'm signing off for now, and y'all have a good one. <laughs>